All right, guys, good old boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're sitting out here in the Freedom Shack. It appears we have a little bit of time on our hands. I just had to escape the children. They were trying to duct tape me to the wall. But anyway, if you remember a while back, I decided to go ahead and do what I called an everyday Joe rifle build. And the reason I wanted to do that is we were getting away from where we used to be and, and how the channel developed by doing budget pros, uh, budget products. Uh, so what I was thinking about, let's, let's go ahead and do this. I'm going to, in my mind, buy the best value or the best bang for the buck across the board in order to, well, complete a full rifle build. And in this box is pretty much that, the Everyday Joe build. And I decided to go ahead and call that because we had some people who came up with some really cool names, but this is going to be the Everyday Joe build. Now, what do I want to do in the box? Well, we had to define its scope of work. What is it? Well, it's a good everyday AR-15 that is suitable for just about everything from home defense. You could probably use it for competition if you wanted to. Uh, you could run it in a course that we're going to build it beefy enough to take care of that. Uh, what else? Just the things that we can do. We're going to make it aeronautic. What do you call it? Air. Air. We want to make it aerodynamic. Oh, my God. Okay, so we want to make it aerodynamic. Uh, I call it a high-speed, low-drag kind of thing, similar to the build we just did a little while ago. Now, in comparison right here, <laughs> this is my uh, pretty much my full-blown, this is a defensive firearm that I use pretty much all, all times. We're running a Hall of Sun. This is their uh, titanium build. we got a Purse 4 on top of it. The reason I like the Purse 4 is that it has infrared as well as green laser. They do co-witness. And you know what? This is going to be a really cool informative video for an intro into the box, plus a surefire uh, uh, dual cell or dual fuel, whatever you call that thing. Okay. Also, we're running the, uh, the oppressor from Strike Industries because I do run a lot of Strike Industries muzzle brakes, and this thing will fit on it. So if you think about it, if I'm going to be in running the interior, uh, I'm going to put this thing on it because, well, we don't have a suppressor, and I'm not really concerned about it, but this is an all-around great firearm, 14.5-inch FN barrel, and I run a CMC uh, bolt carrier group, which in my mind is probably one of the better ones out there for the money. All right, so what are we going to do? Well, real quickly, let's just break out the things. We'll do a recap. The two items that I'm actually going to do tabletop reviews on this thing, because you've seen all this stuff before, is this. This is a UTG Model 415 Super Slim Free Float Rail System. Huh. Again, we're looking for economics. I didn't want cheap, 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 but I wanted something that is dependable. Now, does that mean that this thing's going to work? No. I've got plenty of rails that uh, are thrown over there. One being a Midwest Industries rail that I will never put on a rifle. It's got way too much flex in it. Uh, the other item is this guy right here. This is... The Ballistic Advantage, and you guys know uh, my history of Ballistic Advantage just recently, but I'm still a firm believer in these guys. This is their government profile mid-length barrel, and this is part of their modern series. So what we're going to do, uh, because YouTube and what they do, I cannot show you the assembly of the firearm. Unfortunately, those days are gone. But what I can do is I can show you this part, and I can show you this part. And we'll do reviews on those. But here is a simple fact. We're going to go ahead. I'm putting the Hall of Sun. This is the HS503G with ACSS reticle in it. This is a three-power magnifier from uh, Primary Arms. Uh, a simple Yankee Hill low-profile gas block. These are my absolute favorite gas blocks. Uh, economical, and they are badass, and they are low, 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 low profile. All right, what else we got in here? We're going to do the... Uh, Anderson, what do they call these things? The uh, the jumping ponies or the inexpensive ponies. Uh, Luth AR, we're going to do a upper receiver parts kit. The buffer, buffers, tube, and spring. Uh, Anderson upper. The Anderson lower parts kit. This has got the nickel boron coated trigger and hammer. And Yankee Hill, this is the, uh, the Phantom. This is one of my favorite muzzle brakes simply because it's a little bit longer but it also it's just got huge muzzle flash mitigation keeping that uh keeping your uh what do you call that concealment 
down, your signature. That's big time, and that means a lot to me. I'm not really concerned about competition and reducing recoil or muzzle rise. I'm worried about signature. And then, of course, we've got one of the best bolt carrier groups, I think, for the money is the uh, Palmetto State Army. This is their premium with the cross cannons on the side of it, and we all know who makes these. All right, so let's go ahead and put this stuff back. All right, so this is for part one. Part two is going to be the handguard. Part three, I'm going to put a barrel. It is still in the wrapper, as you can see right here. That is their sealed ends. And we're going to throw a scope through it, show you what the inside of it looks like, and go from there. But might want to go ahead and, because uh, shooting is, uh, well, let's just say this. Not a lot of shooting going on these days. But I'll go ahead as soon as we get that, uh, the, uh, what do you call that thing with the uh, flutes in it? premium barrel once we get a couple more rounds through that we'll show you the scope on that one all right so let's move on down the line but we'll always end it like this god bless america god bless those men women in uniform 24 7 for our freedom this freedom is not free if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe and haven't already done so anyway that's it hope you guys are enjoying your coronavirus days off i do know this i am concerned heavily for the people that work with me i want to keep them employed and keep them moving so i'm hoping this work stoppage uh, is over with in a couple days. Otherwise, our economy and my people are not going to be very happy. And that includes me. It's Good Boy 32. Y'all wait for the next two videos. I'm probably going to release them, both of them, in the next couple days. All right, I'm out of here. Y'all be good.